Hi, this is Jason with WP GraphQL, and I want to show some updates on what I've been doing with WP GraphQL subscriptions. Super experimental, um, lots of breaking changes, not ready for use yet. I've got a lot of things to figure out still, but I wanted to show uh, what I'm working on. Um, so at the at the root of the GraphQL schema now, there's queries, mutations, and subscriptions. These are going to change. They're just experimental right now. Um, so I do have some experimental ones like content note, deleted, published, updated, things like that. So the one that I have working at the moment, working <laughs> at least to some degree, uh, is the content node published. So I can say subscription and I can say content node published. I can ask for data such as the URI, the ID, the database ID. Uh, and then if it's a, node that has title like a post type that supports title I can ask for the title and I'm also going to ask for the type name okay so we will prettify that and click execute so what's going to happen we send this query document to the server the server says hey pal looks like you're looking for a subscription uh, so I don't have anything for you right now but you can get information at this URL. You can subscribe to events here. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab, this URL. And what this is doing, it's, uh, it's subscribing to server sent events. So the server is sending events uh, when changes are detected. So the server says that right now I'm just sending an event every second, just, uh, but ideally we don't need to do that. We can just send a message when we actually have a message to send. But for now, we can we can see that this is actually working. And so what I can do then, um, with that in place, I can come into WordPress. I'm actually I'm in my WordPress here. I can create add new post. I can say test post post content. I can give it some content. And when I click publish, we're gonna see uh, that I'm gonna get the payload that I subscribed to. I'm getting the content node published, I'm getting the type name, uh, the URI, the ID, the database ID, things like that. If I come into po or pages and add a new page and say test page, test, and click publish, we're gonna see I'm also getting my event sent from here. So I can have a client subscribe to this URL now and Obviously, we would we would strip out the blank um, payloads and only send events that are relevant to the client. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's that's uh, that's kind of how things are working right now. Um, so this should allow clients to subscribe to specific events, get a payload matching what they subscribe to, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm super excited with the progress here. Um, I'll uh, I look forward to continuing work on this and see what we can come up with.